What is this? Okay, good. It looks like I just milked nothing. I should probably not do that in town. Just like jack off in the town square. Hey, how's it going? Whoa, whoa! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Got him! I've just been drifting around, being led by circumstances. No, that's not right. And Ave, you helped Bart when he needed it. I can't give a fucking straight face this awful writing. Drifting, kind of like me. Holy shit. <laughs> Quite dead yet. Don't worry though, I have a telescope equipped. Uh, the sprite tells me it's a lady, but the face tells me it's a man. Do that Dr. Girlfriend voice. Yesterday my stove caught on fire. I thought the whole house was gonna put down. You, they're ugly kid. Every kid is ugly. What the? These aren't special in any way. There goes the potion! Oh! It's a perfect fit. Oh! Ooh! Well, that's gonna be a problem. 24 people have died. <laughs> we might not finish the campaign now. Oops. I never equipped the chainsaw. I never equipped the chainsaw. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I didn't stab that man with a chainsaw. I just made chainsaw noises as I hit him with an axe. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I know I heard oh, he'll have the key for sure. <laughs> Police, nobody move. Like I kicked his his knee bone or something. Are you oh, blind? Oof. What in God's I I mean better luck next time. Armor broken, what the fuck? I just kicked that board and my clothes exploded. Arcanum. Damn it. Stop! You totally fucked it up! Well, you fucked me, dog. We're not getting in now. You blew it, old man! Holy shit, you blew it! Wow, it's just his face! I can't take you seriously when your planet's called Choco. Welcome to Choco. Keep your nose clean. Is your planet named after candy? Spell shit in hindsight. That went pretty good. What the hell is this? It says the sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place torch if you crave the void. Okay. Uh, I fucked that up. A whole bunch. Oh, hey there, I forgot how depressing the town music was now. We're, uh, gonna try to squeeze in a short one today. I don't have time for a long one. 
Definitely not as long as yesterday. We played for like six hours. It's uh, the kind of game you can lose track of time. But we're either right at the end. Or we're right at the end and the boss is going to kick the shit out of us and we need to farm some end game items. Or we're not near the end. Uh, but two out of three, we're at the end. So let's poke our head in. Do I have money? I need some ninja star money. So I can't just hurl ninja stars. Yeah, this place is filled with baddies now, okay. Not a problem because we got paralyzed gas now. But they managed to paralyze most of my team and they're immune to paralyze. Oh no. That's a big problem. Can't paralyze him. I don't know group silence. Well, this plan fell apart in a real hurry. Maybe the vampires. We'll beat, up, we'll beat up the vampires. He's petrified already. I'm really fucking tired of this no petrified cure. Booby trap that I've fallen into. Come on. There you go. Oh, she blocked. Look at that. Stop petrifying everybody. Who's doing that? Good Lord, I'm the last one alive. Holy fuck. Is that healing? No, that's not a healing fountain. And I don't think that the fountain out here heals us either. Well, it doesn't like, fix us. Jesus Christ, I guess we're not bothering to fight anything on our way. Ah, but if it's like the castle from the past, it's not actually that big. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. I don't even know if I have enough money to revive everybody. Revive and unpetrify? It's like it'll be a rather short romp in the uh, that final area. I wanted to bring a bunch of ninja stars. I think if I have a bunch of ninja stars and I just check them at the final boss, we might make it. Okay, petrifies dirt cheap. Um, I don't know. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna go. Just because we're not gonna have any money left. We really need to get some money. Now, where the hell am I going to level? Well, we have our item list. I did find the item drop list. Let's just uh, look for some stuff that sounds interesting and pray it drops in a reasonable amount of time. What we got here? I can get something called a thief's cap in the prison from a charge rat. But I fought a lot of charge rats. Tell you I wouldn't be nearly as scared of that last area if I fucking had any sort of petrify resist or the gun. If I just had that damn gun, Dukes took it. It's all skeletons.
Yeah, we have a bunch of thieves, so money should drop a lot more often now. That's a charge rat right there, perfect. Don't have the highest hopes he'll drop the item, but... Better be better than what I have, because that's the thing, is we don't need to get too much... ...equipment, because... ...there's so little item progression. I feel we really just need Cassandra to get a little more health, like get her... Oh, probably clear 50 HP on her, I mean, I'd probably prefer to clear like 60, but... I think I would also make Sebastian a fighter. I should have done that. I should have made Sebastian a fighter as well. Um, we don't have enough items, though, do we? Copper Desire Coins. Oh man, you guys are not new. There's supposedly a, a new Desire Coin, a golden one. So it's weird they'd make us fight this one. Hey, Justin. What's that? A Kite Shield. It's unfortunately the same. That's what I was talking about with the item progression. Where am I going to reliably find rats down here? That's really it. No, I guess the, the skeleton drop something. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. So I just ripped my elf buddies. Yeah, I just took all their stuff. Um, the one guy was a fighter. We could have maybe swapped Alexandra for him. The dark skeleton too should have an item. But, I mean, you remember that drop rate of paralysis cloud. I don't want to sit here... And... Well, we're only going to be at this for a couple hours today, but... I don't want to sit here and farm out items all... ...night, and, uh... ...that doesn't actually help us... ...defeat the Dark Lord. I think I mostly just want weapons. So I would like to get that bow... ...in the forest, but we never saw that enemy type. A goblin beetle can drop something. Apparently... It's actually a lot of stuff the goblins can drop. Goblin leader drops a couple things, and the orc soldier can drop something. And then what do we have in the... F uh, oh! I can get some wizard clothes if we do the tunnel. The fortress has... Oh, look at that. We can learn AoE Ray. Some more wizard clothes. Actually, a lot of stuff in the fortress. That's the interior. What's the exterior the fortress have? Exterior has... Um... Eh, it's not too... I don't... I'm not too worried about what drops there. 
knife indigo. That's shit. Did I say I was doing it for a couple hours? No, I said that we're going to only have time for a couple hours. We just started. We're like 10 minutes in. And then if we go to Japan... All right, they drop a bunch of weeb clothes now. Well, hello! We can get an upgraded shuriken if we go to Japan. That's tempting, because I bet you we can paralyze all those ninjas. And then Sky City is spells. If we get the knight card, we can get some knight armor. But I'm terrified of those fights, even with... Actually, did we try those fights with Chain Paralyze? It's kind of far. Oh, that's a mimic for sure. And then if we somehow get all the way down to hell... Uh, you know, that's a long fucking walk. I'm not too worried about it. No, it says battle armor drops in hell. And I have battle armor, and it's not even good. Battle armor's on par with the breastplate. Drop rates are really weird in this game. But the giants in the tunnel drop some casting clothes for Sebastian and Cassandra, although I am really tempted to make them both fighters just so they have a bunch of uh, vitality and good armor level. Longsword purple, that's garbage. Well, what are you guarding? It's facing the wrong way, so it's a mimic. I think we saw one treasure chest that was facing the right way, and that was... got thrown off by that. They don't even drop a lot of money, which sucks about the Mimics. Because, you know, normally when you get bamboozled by a Mimic, he still has a good item. Yeah, Kidney's at 128. He's already starting to close the gap on the, uh, the high-level people. They have, like, 250. I think Rastool had 400. If we have spare fighter clubs, I am tempted to bring the other elf, the level 40 elf. Just we have another damage dealer, but we definitely can't level with him. We're already going to have trouble leveling with five. But everything in the present day is so dangerous now. I don't think we can get by with four. They interrupted my heavens. Cry those fucking scoundrels. Yeah, Kidney Stone really needed to become a samurai. Two-hander is great. So let's go down to the tunnel here. We didn't get that uh, thief hat. But I'm much more interested in, uh, well, chest armor and weapons. And then it could be fun to control Kidney Stone, because he does hit really hard. I wonder what kind of shape we'll be in, though, if we get another bow. Is that the hat? No, this is a static chest. Leather Helm. What a waste of fucking time that was. Leather Helmet. It doesn't even give armor level. A Leather Helmet. I have to come all the way to the very end of the game, and if we redo the first floor, they'll give us the exact same helmet they sold at the beginning of the game. This is definitely uh, the kind of game that would benefit really well from a ROM hack. Because, like, all the systems are there, right? Just the numbers are fucking weird. You know, the drop rates, what items give you, how often they, uh, they drop, experience values, the way experience works. I think you could buff that out, make a pretty fun game. So we want the Giants. He's also guarding a treasure chest. 
Not this one, though. I think we want the elemental giants, like poison and paralysis. Mm. Yeah, let me check. Yes, the poison giant will give us something for a priest. And the paralysis giant will give us something for a mage, or vice versa. Tunic black. Jesus Christ. Really? Minus two armor level. But you have blind resist. Not blind immunity. Blind resist. So goblins, they're listed in the forest as dropping a lot of neat shit. I wonder if the ones in the tunnel will drop it too. Goblin leader specifically drops some interesting stuff. Gotta get the giant. Yeah, that balance is really off at this last part because it's a bunch of baby monsters still, but there's asshole monsters peppered in there. Oops, speaking of assholes, Frog just licked mine. It's most certainly the bow that I want the most. So we probably won't stay down here too long. We'll work our way through to the forest. I need to find those beetles that ride goblins. The list says they're in the forest, but they just won't show up. I mean, we checked once. The seed might have been determined when we left town. So just running around waiting for the respawn wouldn't do anything. The goblin leaders might give us something. Maybe not. I don't know if their loot table changes between floors. Leather boots yellow. Again, absolute dog shit. Uh, well, that's paralysis resist, but I mean, come on. Like, look at my armor level. Minus two. That's not a trade I want to make. The end, I think, is up in the actual castle, Justin. So and everything under the castle is just treasure to get you ready. I don't think we want to fight anything in that castle, though. Holy shit, the Medusa's just petrifying people. I think it's going to be like Gehenna, and we just ignore everything. Which is a shame. I guess that's the problem with a lot of these, uh, like, you only fight them if you touch them battles uh, in games. Because there's a lot of things that you just don't want to waste your time with. Saga Frontier had a lot of that. I mean, it's good because you can target your farming, but the drop rate is never quite there. Is this where I came in? Yep, that's the prison. Hello? Man, Cassandra runs out of MP so fast. I wonder if you get much better growth on an anchor. But of course you don't need a bunch of MP when you actually got a boss. It's just the anchor helps us explore. Leather gloves, more dog shit. I don't think I don't even know why I'm opening these treasure chests. I don't think we'd want treasure chests unless they were in um Is that a gold coin or a copper coin? Copper coin. I don't think we'd want them unless we are uh, in the Sky City or Hell. I think all the chests before then are gonna be mediocre. Maybe Japan, but Japan will probably just drop weed gear. Just 
oddly difficult to get money at the end because nothing's dropping. And what does drop is junk, so I'm hoping that Japan and Robot City we can actually get some just the gear to sell. If we're really lucky, we'll find some weeb gear. Uh, well, some armor level on Kidney Stone would be wonderful, but then also some armor level on my dudette. I think that's just an earth giant. We don't give a shit about those ones. What do you want to bet this is going to be junk? Oh, no! A paralysis gas book. It was just in a treasure chest. How did nobody mention this on the internet? Oh my god. Give that to Sebastian. Holy fuck. That would have helped my sanity last night. God damn it. On clothes, flasks. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's great that we're getting charged flasks and cure flasks now, but that robs item drops we could be getting. I wish multiple things could drop. Mimic? Oh, yeah, that's a mimic. But not just any Mimic, it's a Killer Mimic, which takes more than one hit. Watch out. And you really need to find this a new bow. So goblins in general, I suppose. I don't think they'll show up with beetles. Maybe just with goblins. It's really hard to swing the camera around in the forest. Well, it's really hard to swing the camera around in general. Uh, when you're trying to weave between enemies. And the forest is extra weird because it's just all fucking rabbits and pixies and low-level shit. Like, those are default rabbits. Where the hell are these goblin beetles? We saw, like, one in the past, but the drop table says that he should exist in the present.
these goblin leaders have a chance to drop stuff too. a couple quests. Well, not a couple. I think we have a bunch of quests. Quests I have no faith in because well, there were a couple in hell because we never did those on our first time through. But now that everything's stronger, that'll be a pretty dangerous run just for quests. There's way too many fucking rabbits out here. Watch that inventory. Oh, we got 10. Well, look who's back. You know, if I didn't see him in the past, I wouldn't I wouldn't believe he existed. But he's definitely real. There is a very tiny chance that maybe they tr they spilled over into the fort, but I doubt that. All right, that that actually gave her a big chunk. Yeah, so I think it's you get more HP when you level as a fighter and you get more MP when you level as a priest. So she's going to need some fighter levels. fought battle. You fought honorably. Pixies even drop anything I give a shit about here? They drop rings of knowledge, but those are just hats. They drop a priest hat. That's about it. I do think our best bet to level is just go to Japan and paralyze gas everything. I want to get under the tree here. Yeah, I've never seen... I've never seen a goblin beetle. And he also has to drop the bow anyways. 
so we might be stuck with this bow forever. I don't think there's another bow available. Got enough health there, champ? I forgot to give him some speed. I think that's why his strength is a, a nice round number there. Because 60 strength is a lot. 60 strength is what those guys in the past had. The level 40 heroes. They had like 66 strength, so... Kidney Stone's definitely punching up with that much strength. I think he gained 5 HP with that level. I can't remember. I can't remember if he spawns on Beetle Battle. Well, actually, this is a one. So maybe, he, maybe the King Beetle, or sorry, the, the Goblin Beetle can spawn on Bottle or Goblin. But I just call them Bottle the Beetles.
600 gold. So pretty good. That gives us some shuriken money. Parallel heel bank. That was actually a lot of XP. Guy's playing invisible drum. Seventy plus one, yeah, this isn't too bad I think so.
I think we can just walk all the way to Japan at this rate. I was gonna say maybe we need to go home and sleep, but what? No reason to go back to town. I think the guy with the drums is a wizard, or a uh, priest, so... He actually hits a lot, for a lot less. But I guess he's a lower level. Kidney Stone technically has like 10 levels on him because of the same rate for motion. 34 vitality is a lot, we'll keep him at 35. Real bad drop through the wow. Another ear sword, the Platius gives defense, so we'll keep that. Seventy one, that would be a lot, I think, with just three of us. A little dangerous, actually. I don't think the lizards are too dangerous. Oh yeah, 47 HP. She needed this. She needed those fighter levels. Let's see how many more paralysis gas books drop as an insult now that we already know it. On the very off chance that one actually drops, I'd even make Cassandra Samurai. 
Because Kidney Stone seems to be having really good HP growth on that job. That's actually less XP than fighting the lizards. Considerably more dangerous too, might I add. Yeah, you could maybe control Cassandra and then just like have it auto battle. Ow. Ah, the lizards at the beginning of the fortress exterior. There we go. 67 plus 4, that's okay. Wow, that was a... The f Stop casting stuff. Holy fuck. Good God. Wow. Back to town, I guess. Yeah, these fights are all over the place. What is she at? 49. Yeah, we'll get her a couple levels in Japan if we're lucky. Ah, oh, I hate that sound when we go through the doors. Sound design's a little off. Bracelet of Faith. It's for priests only. Did I find this in a treasure chest? This is one of the items I was looking for. Who drops this? Bracelets of Faith was... Oh, that's Holy Manlum. When we were trying to get an anchor card, this dropped instead. Parallel heals a piece of shit, but it gives a lot of money. Um... I could cast this on my Dudette or Cassandra, but they would need the MP to spare. Cassandra actually does have enough to spare, so we'll just miss out on the 5 pass. That's a lot of money, but... Give it to Cassandra. This Mimic, who I don't think ever gives us anything good. Good work, my dudette. A Dwarf Battle Mage. I think it's a good combination for her. We probably want her to have uh, a shield, though, really. No thanks, we learned ghosts are cunts. Goodbye. Oh no.
Oh wait, couldn't we? Weren't the weren't the priest and the sorcerers immune to paralyze? Isn't that why Holy Manlum scared the shit out of me? Clean it up, boys. It's a real shame I do no fucking damage. Because obviously, if I could help kill shit after I cast Paralyzed Gas, these battles would go that much quicker. So, if the battle takes too long, you actually can survive paralysis. We gotta be careful. We gotta be very careful with that. Here we go. Let's hope we're actually tough enough. Because if we're not, there's not really a lazy... Oh shit, they have little hats now. They have lady ninjas in the fights now? That's gonna complicate the drops. Damn it, these fights are going pretty slow. I think it's because I'm not controlling one of the heavy hitters. Careful. Careful! That took a while. A Ronin and a higher ninja. Only 68. Christ, we should just fight lizards. My dude at. Well, 25 speed. It's a nice number. And they didn't drop anything. God damn it. Couldn't grind here if we wanted to. Oh no, never mind. Lesser ninjas. Fight shouldn't be taken this fucking long. I think their stats are higher. Shouldn't be taking this many shots. Fucking get any XP if you die, Cassandra. Yeah, this isn't worth it. You'd want to fight lizards. Well, that fucking sucks. And because they won't drop anything, can't really farm out any weave gear for me and Kidney Stone. That bag's looking mighty roomy. Put on that bracelet of faith. Oh, fuck. 
Oh no, because he's he's currently a mage. That's why he's not a priest. That's why he can't do it. What the hell is the other thing I have then? Platinum for the night. Okay. So we'd want to turn him back into a priest, and then he can wear his gauntlets of faith. Sorry, who's this? Ninjas? Oh, circle vision on the ninja though. Higher ninjas. Shit. God damn, everything's paralyzed. Or sorry, everything's uh, petrified. Now, if we got our hands on petrified gas, that would end the battle. Like, oh, fuck off. Nobody's dropping anything. Basically, just a samurai card for Cassandra. I would love some ninja gear, but apparently that's not going to happen. Sandra's dead again. Yeah, we can't fucking farm here either. Fox Mask Woman. I didn't notice that. Yep, no items. Fuck me. Let's just get out of here then. Instead, we get to fight the incredibly delightful noises of lizard men. That's a real letdown. I mean, it would be fun to grind these items if they would actually fucking drop, but they don't. Like, just the most mundane equipment is a very rare drop. Almost would have been better off farming the anchor out in the past. There was only a level 10 priest, really. Can't be silence. That's probably a good one for him. I didn't even find anything to sell off, did I?
Yeah, we'll just get one more level, I suppose. We'll try to get 50 HP on Cassandra and then try the uh, final castle area. Because nothing fucking drops. Rats can paralyze, so it's a little dicey to fight them. Sometimes I wish I never taught her petrify, because it targets who's petrified. Really weird. An ice ring. That ice resist? Resistance to magic attribute ice. That doesn't fucking help me. I mean ghosts do ice, but I'm not getting I'm not getting ten of those rings. Seventy strength. We can probably switch to another stat on him now. Seventy strength. Holy fuck! If he lives long enough to hit you, you're in trouble. And he's got a really bad sword too. If we could get him something like uh, what is he at? Yeah, if we get him like a a five or a six weapon. God damn. His weapon inflicts blind, but I'd rather he just cut their head off. I forgot that the waypoint puts us right in the lizards. I don't know why I took the interior fortress waypoint. Probably just habit. How much money do I have? 6,000. So we want to buy six ninja stars and then just, uh, the final boss kills us, probably reload our save. It's a shame Cassandra wasn't a ninja, I guess. Ninja mage, she throws her ninja stars too. I only gave her two. I think, I think you get more HP. Well, probably, you probably get more HP on Samurai because it's an advanced class. Um, more vitality. Everyone, everyone in this fucking castle is a drum. It probably sounds miserable here.
Sure. Uh, no, we'll wait. Just because Sebastian's about to get yet another level up. There it is. 65 on my priest. He will not stop leveling up. I don't think his MP went up, though. I think we really need an anchor. Not that I want to farm one out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that they were immune to paralyzed gas up there. And even if they weren't, um, it's hard to kill shit right now, apparently. Which is really strange because, um, like the boss, the Lena boss, died quicker than the fucking things in Japan. The rest. Oh, and now they sell all the storms after I went... Oh, fuck, he doesn't even sell the base spells anymore. He just sells the storms. All right, let's see what we're in for. Watch out for Medusas. Get the fuck out of here. I hate that sound. Transitioning between buildings. If I was the final boss, I'd be jacking off in the throne room if I could remember how to get there. Good thing I explored this place back when it wasn't haunted. Oh. Wow, just one room away. That's handy. Hello? Huh. <sighs> uh. My dudette. Good talk, Pops. It's a fucking duel. Well, good thing I brought those ninja stars. We don't. Oh, he did. Oh, that did no fucking damage. Sorry, old man. Like, that was a boss fight. This game is all over the place. My dad was no match for five ninja stars. He couldn't even take the sixth one. That Those actually did a lot more damage than we were throwing them at the uh, samurai boss. I'm sure you're dead, by the way, but... My dudette. I'm counting on you. Please, save. Ava, finish it. Can I transform into some sweet gear for me, maybe? Legendary talking sword? No? Alright, well, I'll just fucking save the world on my own. Well, it's, it's right by the inn, at least. It appears the successor to the seal has been determined. Oh. Are you the final boss? You're just a greater demon that's gray. Long ago, I served the creator that lives in the heavens above, carrying out his will on this land. Perhaps the name Greylord is the one you're aware of. 
That's the name that your ancestors referred to me by. I have much to tell you, so much to share, but we don't have the luxury of time due to current conditions. I was fortunate to be able to lift the curse from your father. That's about the extent of my powers now. You, the successor of the seal, I'll share what you must know. If you use the seal you inherited, you'll die, just as your father did. Huh. That and the cane fragment draw strength from the heavens. It's too powerful for a mortal. Eons ago, an epic battle in the heavens had the Dark Lord draw an arrow against the creator. The creator's cane shattered and a fragment fell to earth, together with the Dark Lord. I was then summoned here after him to defeat him, but the ensuing battles between us devastated this land. I was on the verge of defeating the Dark Lord when he used the land as a shield by forcing the inhabitants to make a choice. Either they help me defeat, or they, sorry, they help defeat me or see everything destroyed. A battle from the heavens. Through no fault of man, we entrusted our powers to a human who accepted his fate. We hoped his bloodline would defeat the Dark Lord, who would one day revive. That's how the bloodline of the seal started. Successor of the seal. The horrors you'll face ahead will be the most terrifying and arduous that you faced in any battle. Are you willing to proceed despite that? I guess. I have the one ninja star still. I see. I no longer have the power to defeat him, but as a parting gift, I shall grant you one wish. However, it must be something within the realm of my power. A uh, reasonable drop rates would be my request. <laughs> huh? Such strange creatures, you humans. But that's why I've entrusted everything to you all. You want me to erase everyone's memory of you to avoid the pain it causes. That wish will be granted when you use the seal. I hope we can meet again, successor of the seal. The implication is I'm going to die, but okay. I don't think it's here. It must be upstairs in the, uh, I guess we gotta fight him in the church. I'm healed, right? I barely got, barely got love tapped by that windstorm he threw at me. Sorry, Dad. It's weird that this isn't part of the game. Like, it is now, but I mean, I didn't even know we could come in here. I don't know if we could come in here. There's no monster. Well, there would have been no monsters early on. Hello? Old man? So you made it. Now I remember. The child from that day. The child of the one I detest. I don't know how you're able to get to this place in time, but I owe a debt of gratitude to you. Thank you. Thank you for releasing my seal. At last, I can finally return to my true form. <laughs> I once belonged to a place unobtainable by you mortals. But I was cast down to earth to this wretched existence. I'll have you return the cane fragment now. Since it originally came from the heavens above, its powers rightfully belong to me. By possessing the fragment, I'll be able to surpass even the creator. With just a fragment, I fucking doubt that. Alright, start swinging! Okay, we're off to a good start here. I'm guessing he's got multiple Japanese phases. Ow, ow. He got kidney stone. The unknown monster Lucicus has been identified. Ah, oh, that was probably just the first phase and we already lost both our fucking melee. I did not expect Kidney Stone to go down. That's a huge problem. Come on, become Japanese. Impossible. How can a mere human have such? No, not yet. Ah! There you are, big fart cloud monster. 
I don't even know how we bounce back from this because you get revived with part like five health. Oh. Now, if we're lucky, we can come right back to this fight. What are you doing? My strength's getting weaker. Absurd, but how? How can this be? It's you. It's because of you. So be it. At least I'll take this land with me to oblivion. Is the, is the game actually fucking over? Just the one phase? Ugh. You. Damn you. Oh. It's the ghost of my parents that I spoke to for five minutes. Go, my dudette. Huh. I just cut him in half with my bow. The ultimate weave. But it's just a bow. How did you... Uh... I think we actually beat the game. Like I said, the difficulty's fucking all over the place. One shot's my tanky samurai, and then I shot him in the throat with a bow. That's it? What? Marvelous Interactive Inc. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt that this was your first game. Really all over the place. Wow. There's a cool premise, like a, like a real-time wizardry knockoff, but... The XP growth, really weird. You didn't want to bring a full party. Items hated to drop. Definitely, yeah, well, yeah, definitely farming out that ninja card for five hours. All that health kept us alive because I was hanging on by a thread right at the end, but I mean, we beat it in the first try, but we couldn't beat random encounters. That's the crazy part about that when we came back from the past. We could barely do random battles, but we trounced the final boss of the first try. Well, MVP shurikens got us out of most 1v1s we had to do. Yeah, they needed to get their XP value sorted out, and they needed the drop rates to be a little higher. It was a fun little game, though. I don't regret playing it, it's just... They had some odd choices for a PSP game, you know? Like, we... I feel we knew better for video games by then. Is that me? Did I become a burlap sack? So the implication is that I survived and I just dicked off, but everyone said that if I tried to seal the Dark Lord, I'd be killed in the process. Save game. It's a new, it's of course, it's a new game plus kind of game. Of course, it's a new game plus kind of game. We'll, we'll poke our head into new game plus, but I mean, we're done. You saw the screen, Finn.
man, never got a knight, never got an anchor, barely got a ninja. We explored a fair bit. Oh no. It's going to keep this shitty music for the the post game. I have only $300, but he's alive, thank God. See if we get any post game characters. And like, so we were maybe in our 20s or 30s once you add up all our classes and we could have brought the level 40 guys. Returning to the heavens, Eerie Castle. Hello? So the Alchemist 3 is in hell. What's this? Returning to the heavens. It's time for me to go back to the heavens. I'll be waiting for you at the location. I strive every day to write poems that make people happy, but lately for some reason I'm unable to write such poems. Then it came to me, the story of the hero Rastul and Princess Aifa. I can write happy poems about them. I want to go to that castle and find something that will tell me more about them. Will you please help me? I want to go see this one first. It's time for me to go back to the heavens. That must be the Grey Lord. Who apparently was not a cunt. He was on our side. So the one weird thing about that final cutscene is I took off the shackles, which were probably symbolic of some sort of... destiny I was chained to, whether it was being trapped in the prison by the elves or being forced to seal the Dark Lord, but I didn't wear the shackles. Like, if you, cha if you change out of your default gear, the shackles are gone. Are you a true adventurer? No. I see. Good talk. Never learned Petrify Cure either, might I add. Definitely had a few gaps in our spell book because of the drop rates, but it was kind of neat that you would get spells by just farming them. Just drop rate was really bad. A higher drop rate would fix a lot of problems. Hello. Adventurer, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like you to return me to the heavens. Huh? The curse on this land has been broken and all the souls freed. Once from this one from this world has broken the curse, so the world can leave the hand of the gods now. This world's finally in the hands of those who live on it. As one of the gods myself, it's my time to leave as well. But I possess a body which was reborn from the land, so it must also be extinguished by one born from that very land. This body belongs to this land. As long as my soul remains in this body, the door to the heavens will not open. So this is a favor I ask. We gods don't have the means to destroy our own bodies. We're bound by an ancient oath which prevents us from taking our own lives. We can only die while fighting with our full force in battle, you piece of shit. Adventurer, I'd like you to destroy me. Can't even pretend to hold yourself back, huh? Oh yeah, this is for people that love Valhalla Knights. He's actually doing pretty well for himself. Can I switch characters, please? That just casually hits everybody for 227. Um, it takes way too long to grind and farm items. We will not be doing the post-game content. Well, I mean, you know me. I almost never do post-game content. Let's lie to that man and tell him I'm a true adventurer. But, uh, well, it turns out we were able to finish it in the little chunk of time I set aside today. So we'll be able to move on to a new game tomorrow. But we'll dick around for a little bit longer here. I have a feeling that true adventure shit is for whatever the post game is. One experience point? Yeah, the fuck you just... I gotta go fight Mr. 200 HP, huh?
Yeah, the ninja was cool. The samurai was cool. I guess the knight probably wouldn't have done anything new, but... They just needed a lot more gear. Because it was fun when I found it, but... You almost never found it. I mean, we beat probably... Probably 75% of the game we used the shit we stole from Ralgo. The two battle axes. And the, the steel armor. I am a true adventurer. I see. The monster's powers have surpassed their limits. Yeah, not my first JRPG. I saw that coming. I see. You want to continue? I see. The monster's power levels have returned to normal. Oh, well, hello. I can toggle the dumb shit. That's actually good thinking on their part, because you'd be, you'd be trapped. You'd be trapped if you turn that on. All right, let's go see what a fucking post-game slime does to me. Holy shit. Definitely a bit of a gap there between uh, when I could kill these and when the last ones are helpful. I'm going to sleep like a baby having never done the post game. I hate that cat. You need to petrify them all, I think, is our best bet. They're immune to petrify. Uh-oh. Well, there goes my dudette. Did that do how much I think it said? No, 35. I thought it said 300. Couldn't even beat a post-game slime, but we trounced the final boss. Well, this is... By the way, I took all your money. That's fine. That's okay, old man. Really wish they fixed the town music, because I hate that, hate that little twinge it makes. Well, well, hang on. They might sell some dopey shit. Not that I have a penny to spend, but... Oh, a customer. What are you doing here? The game's over. Didn't even upgrade the shop when I beat the game. My god. That is a real stinker. Well, I guess we'll call it here. I liked my time with it. It seems like the kind of game where they want me to spend 90% of my time post-game, which I don't, because uh, the drop rates were bad and it takes forever to level up. Total time on our save? That's a great question. Uh, 25 hours. That's not too bad for especially a mobile RPG. I don't look tired. God bless you, my dudette. Cassandra the Dwarf Mage, Sebastian the Elf Priest, Alexander the Halfling Fighter, and Kidney Stun the Dwarf Samurai. They were able to save the world, even though the town is still depressing and the music's awful. But that's it for Valhalla Nights. I liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Things were a little weird. I was a big fan of how the rats just wouldn't drop paralyzed gas. Honorable mention to Dukes. You know what? Hang on. Let's, uh... <laughs> I'm curious if uh, Dukes is back. It's like they gave me those guys now that I beat the game. I doubt it. Nope, he didn't come with me. Yeah, Dukes definitely got us through the past, um, which maybe gave us a handicap for the present, but it turns out we had just enough raw damage to kill the final boss. So let's go back to the inn so we can rest our weary head forever, until I bother to play Valhalla Nights 2, I suppose. But I think some people say this is the best one.
yeah, fun little game. Uh, you just had to know to always use the bow, and you also had to know to give everybody a nine-letter name. Game definitely had its quirks, but uh, a little rough around the edges. I still liked it. So thanks for coming out to watch. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, another game. So until then. <laughs>